Are you ready to learn how to use ChatGPT for operations in your business? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lian Lai Lakaba. I run a virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines to XU and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. So in the last couple of weeks, well, actually, honestly, months since ChatGPT has come out, I have been looking at different ways you can use it for different tasks and projects and things that might be going on in your business. This has then birthed the 2XU AI Prompt Assistant, which we have here. We've officially launched this. This is now out. And it's basically a collection of prompts as well as educational content that you guys can consume and go through as you're learning how to use ChatGPT. If you guys want a copy of this, make sure to check out the link in the description below. But for this video specifically, we're going to cover operations tasks and there's five different areas that I've identified they can use it right off the bat but before I jump into that I'm going to introduce you guys to something that we have finally given a name so in previous videos in the series I've been saying that before you start with ChatGPT introduce yourself in some way and now we actually have a name for it it's called the WOW formula or W-O-A-H so what the W means is who who are you who do you serve and who is this for so who are you making this you know, product, asset, or what it is that you're asking ChatGPT to do for. O is objective. What is the thing that you needed its help with? Some people will say you will act as X, Y, and Z. I put in, I need your assistance on X, Y, and Z for the task that I need to do. And then the A is, are you ready? So are you ready is basically just making sure that it understands the function that you're asking it to do. And H is the how. So how is basically, what is the format? What is the way that you want it to do? The H can also be the next prompt, but it's basically a good way. So an example, if you want it to write content for you, which I already just did a video on how to use it for content creation, is that you can ask it like, hey, I am a writer for coaches and authors. I need your assistance in blog writing. Can you create an outline based on this process? So then it will follow that. You're giving it that framework. So I want you to put that right on front so you know what the WOW system is. And now into the first thing that ChatGPT can help you out with when it comes to operations, which is basically project management. Now, when you're running operations, whether it's you or a project manager in your business, these are different prompts that you can use to fully utilize ChatGPT in that way. So jumping right into ChatGPT, this is what it looks like if you've never seen one before. But basically, I'll be using the WoW formula, the very first part here. So I put in Iron 2 xu a virtual assistant agency, and my clients are service-based entrepreneurs. So again, that, that's, that's the who part. Like coaches, authors, and service providers. I would like your assistance in project management. Are you ready? So the assistance part is the outcome. Are you ready? Is the A. I don't really have a method that they can follow yet. I might put that later. But then that's kind of the first prompt they will put in. Usually, of course, it'll say, yep, let's get started. And then the first prompt that we'll be putting in here is you can ask ChatGPT in the project management process at the very beginning of it, you can ask it to create, hey, what's a good framework that I can follow based on the project that I have? So pasting the prompt that I have ready already on there. So currently have a project I'm starting where I'll be creating and launching a virtual assistant course for virtual assistants so they can be trained before becoming an applicant for 2XU. What's the best project management framework to follow? So right off the bat, it's giving me the agile framework to go with based on its best knowledge. So that's the thing about ChatGPT is it will just try to, you know, the best of its knowledge, the best of what it knows to give you that information. So that is what it's doing right now. So then for you, when you're doing project management or starting a project within your business, you can ask ChatGPT what's the best framework to be able to follow. Next is you can ask ChatGPT to create a project outline. So I have a prompt that I have here ready, which is basically, you know, based on this, so based on the prompts or the answer that gave me above, create a project outline with primary tasks that can be started with from, you know, creating the outline for the course, recording, editing, launching, as well as the weekly sprints that would need to be done and followed. This should be within two weeks. So it is really important that you be as specific as possible when it comes to giving chat GPT information or a task. That's where the H comes in of woe is you want to be as specific as possible because it can only do again, it can only give you the information from best of what it knows. It can't really guess or read your Mind. So right off the bat, it's creating different phases that I can follow from, you know, planning to development to launch. So I'm already seeing like, hey, these are the sprints that my team and I can follow when it comes to launching a virtual assistant course. So 
it's pretty cool and hopefully a little bit straight and easy rather than you having to plan out and plot it out. You can ask ChatGPT to create the calculations, the steps, and the process for you for project management right off the bat. The next thing that ChatGPT can help you out with is meeting management. Now, this is something that I love using just because most of the time we don't know when it comes to meetings on what is the best practices unless you have a consultant. ChatGPT can basically be your consultant. So to start with, go ahead and create a new chat. I always recommend that you create a new thread depending on the task or the focus per thread that you're creating. So for example, right now we're doing meeting management. So I'm going to grab the prompt that I already have prepared. So right here, I'm copying the prompt I already have prepared, which is I want to ask you and I need your assistance in meeting management. Are you ready? So again, using that whoa uh, method or whoa formula. So usually we'll just say yes. So first thing that you can ask ChatGPT for is creating out or writing out what are the essential meetings in your business. So then the prompt is, can you create a list of essential meetings to have when running a virtual assistant business to have a good way to communicate with clients, employees, and managers? So again, right off the bat, it'll go ahead and create that list for you. So if you're trying to build up, hey, what would be good recurring meetings to have in my business? ChatGPT will give you again the best practices to the best of its knowledge of what it knows based on other things that it has read and come up from the internet. And right off the bat, you know, client onboarding meeting, weekly meeting, monthly check in with the clients, quarterly performance reviews, project debriefs, management strategy meetings. So these are good ways that you already will get a really good idea of how to manage and set up meetings. The next thing that you can do with ChatGPT for meeting management is for setting up agenda. So can you create meeting agendas for each meeting? So again, you don't have to do this from scratch anymore. You can just get this as a draft, edit it, make, make it make sense for your business. That's the main thing I always want to make sure that you guys understand. Is you have to make it make sense for you and your business, what ChatGPT puts out because it has to still be customized for you. I could have added more details. Again, the H in the woe, you could add more details about you and your business onto this, but I just wanted to make this super quick and easy for you guys to be able to follow. But yeah, right off the bat, it's creating already the agenda, you know, introductions, overview, so on and so forth. So then as you're creating templates and email invites or calendar invites for clients or the employees that you have, you already have a good agenda. You can have them follow or you can follow with the next thing that you can use ChatGPT for in operations is file management. And this one, we're going to turn into the AI prompt assistant and we're actually going to go down right into the document generation or document management section that we do have. And we, I will go ahead still and copy and paste from the prompt that I have so we don't have to keep editing. So in here, this is kind of a free preview for you guys. Uh, you guys can see that we have for different tasks, we've already inputted different uh, prompts that you can use. So for this one, going back, so I'm gonna create again a new chat, paste in the file management one. We didn't need your assistance in file management, are you ready? And then going ahead in here is I'm going to create and this is one of the things you can do with ChatGPT is creating a filing system creation, basically. So if you need help on labeling, you know, I'll put it in here. Can you create a filing system for Google Drive for my business where we have our company files, contracts with clients and assistants, and our YouTube and social media content? So this is actual things that we need filing inside of 2XU. So if I didn't have any idea what that would look like, I would ask ChatGPT right off the bat for what that would look like. So again, it's creating that file for me. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to look at other people's, how, how they do their you know, filing. I can ask ChatGPT for a customized one for me. It makes sense for me and my business. Again, I can create and add more details about what 2XU is, you know, what files do we have, but it's based on the information I just gave it. It's already giving me a really good sense of what my folders could look like. And finally, you can ask ChatGPT to go ahead and give you best practices on file management. So, but can you do a quick research on best practices on how I can maintain our files organization throughout scaling and growth? So as I grow my business, what would be best ways that I could make sure that things don't slip through the cracks? So I'm asking ChatGPT on creating that list or that process for me. So then not only for me, but for future managers or future you know, other employees that come into the business, they know what the guidelines are for managing our files. The next thing you can ask ChatGPT help for when it comes to your operations is team management. And this one honestly is pretty super freaking cool. 
So again, going ahead and creating the new chat, going into my already ready prompt so that is coming from the AI prompt assistant, going ahead and pasting that. Uh, would like your assistance in team management are you ready so then of course it says yep i'm ready give me give me your best shot so one of the things you can ask ChatGPT to do is creating your org chart so i'm going to copy and paste the prompt right here can you create an ideal org chart for my organization with the goal of getting to 55 hard assistants that's our goal in 2x2 for our clients with one part manager for each you know six assistants so again here on the whoa i am getting specific i'm putting the how of what it is that I need and fill out the rest of the needed team. So then what ChatGPT will do is it'll create your org chart. So if you don't have an idea yet of what you want your org chart to look like, ChatGPT can create that for you. So right there, we have CEO, founder, operations manager, sales and marketing manager, client services manager, you know, finance and accounting manager. We have nine pod managers and 45 virtual assistants. Ain't that cool? Like. And it's even already writing out the breakdown for the responsibilities for each role, which was or is still going to be the next thing you can ask ChatGPT to do when it comes to team management is creating the team roles and responsibilities. So right there, it already just wrote out a very rough, like one sentence of it, but you can put in this prompt of, can you read the roles and responsibilities for each team member? So then it will be you know, going into detail more of what it started above, of what are going to be the roles and responsibilities for each person. So again, if you have no idea what that looks like, ChatGPT has gotten the information from the internet of what it can look like. So then it goes and gives you that detail, that level of need that you have. So then it's just outlining what that would look like. Next is then you can ask on team management, you can ask ChatGPT to go ahead and grab the prompt and actually create an onboarding process. So it could be that you can ask, can you create an onboarding process for my team? Or you can make it specific, can you create an onboarding process for virtual, for the virtual assistants? You could do this for each and every one of the positions that it just outlined on the org chart. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So right now it's creating the onboarding process for the virtual assistant. Then as a bonus, you can put it, can you create another one for the, you know, say pod manager? And then it will, like without you giving it more information, you can again add in a outline you want it to follow. You can add a process they want it to follow. That's the H in the woe. For example, I have done this before with saying, hey, can you create the 30, 60, 90 day program of what this would look like for onboarding the virtual assistant or the pod manager, and it will create it. Again, you have to just be very specific and give it the information that it needs, and it will give you back the information that you need. And last, but definitely, definitely not the least of the ways that you can use ChatGPT when it comes to operations, it's going to be client management. And there's so many uses for this, but I'm going to just cover just the top three that I like, which is, of course, we're going to start with getting a new chat on here, running in the Arvo process or method or formula. Again, this is fairly new, so we're just kind of trying out what the words would be. <laughs> uh, so again, run to XU. I would like your assistance in client management. Are you ready? Clicking enter. So again, if you guys go, and I'm gonna flip really quickly. If you guys go into the AI prompt assistant, once you guys grab this, it's already here. You just have to edit these, you know, this information. Um, but each one of them already has the, you know, what are you using it for? So then you can use the next kinds of prompts very, very easily. So here, just said, yep, let's do this. So the first thing that you can use ChatGPT for when it comes to client management is for creating a very detailed ideal client description. So let's say that you do have some of the idea of who your target audience is, it can further clarify it so then you can already actually verbalize or communicate it with your team very easily. So the prompt that I just put in is, can you create a full ideal client prescription that can be used by the marketing, sales, and operations team to help identify if a client is a fit? So then it will actually write out, my ideal client is a service-based entrepreneur, it could be a coach, author, a service provider, so on and so forth. You can ask it to be more specific of, hey, can you provide like a good age range? Can you provide a good location on who would need a virtual assistant for their business, you know, coming from me? So then it will create just that. So from that, the next thing that ChatGPT can do for helping you with client management is going to be creating a tracker for incoming clients or just a client tracker in general. So we'll stick with that of, can you create a client tracker that I can use? So clicking enter on that. So right off the bat, 
By the way, I'm not using ChatGPT4. You can see that an upgrade to plus isn't even clicked on uh, because I want you guys to see that, hey, I don't need the paid version of it to be able to have ChatGPT create this level of just assets for me. So right off the bat, it created already a table that I can use that I can put into Notion since we use Notion that you can use into Google Sheets or whatever tracker you're using for your clients. Uh, what are the information that you would need to put into that tracker so you can track them as they go through your process. And lastly, one of the cool things that you can use ChatGPT for when it comes to managing your clients is going to how to be creating the onboarding sequence. Now in 2x2, I have upgraded our onboarding sequence so many times and I was like, okay, what's the right way? And I asked ChatGPT to do it. Uh, so creating onboarding systems that I can use for clients given that our assistants are hired after the client has been onboarded and the EA or the assistant recruited. So then it will write out that onboarding process that I can follow if I wanted to. And again, customize this, make it make sense for you and your business. But right off the bat, ChatGPT can give me the information again that I needed by giving it the information that it needed to be able to give me the best result. And that is basically it. Those are the main ways that you can use ChatGPT for operations. There are so many examples that I can't even go through in just one video. So if you guys want more videos like this, let me know which topic or theme do you guys want me to put you know prompts that we can add into the ai prompt assistant and of course if you guys want to grab it go ahead and click in the link below this the ai prompt assistant will perpetually be updated so anytime that we think like oh yeah we can use chat gpt for that we'll create the prompt and put it into the prompt assistant so if you guys get it as early as now any updates that we do to it in the future you guys will still get it and if you guys of course like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and if you still haven't yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every sunday and thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an amazing and awesome day. Remember that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.